he was up with the gods where he felt he belonged. Wacko Jacko, 40 feet up in the clouds, oblivious of the devilry at work on his act below. There the more earthly and earthy figure of Jarvis Cocker was expressing something, hopefully just his opinion, on Michael Jackson's Earth Song. Fans and critics agreed Jackson's portrayal of himself as the saviour of the poor was over the top, but was Cocker's stage invasion justified and did he assault three children? Rival fans continued the dispute here as they waited for Kensington police to decide if Cocker was saint or sinner. All he did was uh, wiggle his bum and then get kicked in by some bloke dressed as Buddha. What about all the things that you said we were to gain? On one side of the street, it's a case of what you did was right, me old cocker. On the other, it's look at poor Michael, he's ever so sad. What you did to him was really, really bad. Pandemonium, fandemonium and even media demonium broke out as Cocker arrived for the verdict. During police questioning, he'd maintained, and the video bore him out, that he didn't touch a child. The police agreed. Jarvis Cocker has fully cooperated with the police who have considered the complaints that have been made by the children and have come to the decision that no action of any nature whatsoever should be taken against him. And for the so-called man of the people, relief that his name has been cleared. It's not exactly something you'd put on your CV, is it? <laughs> Child warrior. But would he do it again? Uh, probably not, given what's happened since then. No. And Michael Jackson? I wish him well, you know, I hope he sorts his problems out. Now he just wants to be remembered for his own talent. In Kensington, this is Phil Bales for London Tonight.